Hey guys, this is Bring Bit the Farm, and this is my Blackberry row that I have going on, and I'm really excited about it. And these took really well, all the way down 35 feet worth of blackberries. This is my Blackberry row. I don't know if I said raspberry. These are on my raspberries over here, which I got the uh, the steel galvanized string to kind of the wire to kind of hold those up better because this back fencing it doesn't do anything like this was a waste of money and time i should never have done this i, th I, sh I should have thought better about it but over on this side it's working great i just kind of come out here and i would weave these through and and they grow and they are doing awesome and i kind of want to just give you a quick little glance uh, at this kind of share with you what I know about blackberries, this is the triple crown blackberry. And you can see how they're all starting to go red. Well, these are first year canes this year. And they are going to be great because they're the canes that are going to uh, have blackberries next year. And so, and these are the canes that I will cut down at the end of next year. I'm not gonna cut anything down this year because they're all first year canes. And then um, I will, um, every year I'll cut down the, the canes that produced and then we'll call it good. But uh, let me show you, I wanna show you guys a little trick that I learned uh, just from observing here it is. Let me move my kids' try. They think they own the place here. Okay, so I have this blackberry bush, right? And here's a vine that's attached. You can see it. But look down here. This has been in the dirt for the last little while. Let me see if I can see if I can focus that. There it is. But is it rooting? These are roots. See that? And so, uh, that's something that you can do if you want to propagate more blackberries. You can actually take these and you can put them in the ground, make a little hole, put them in the ground, and then water them in real good and keep the dirt on them. And that will root and become its own vine that you can cut off and put anywhere you want. And so that's something that I've, I've learned that's been pretty cool to kind of observe these plants, how they just kind of grow and wherever they touch the ground and they're, they have moisture, they will root and you'll get new propagated blackberry uh, starts that you can share with other people. So that's kind of what I wanted to do with these was I want to grow enough for me and my family, but I also want to grow some some starts to help my neighbors out so they can come out here and they can uh, grow their own blackberries and then everyone's that much more self-reliant. And that's my whole my whole plan. Let me kind of show show you guys over here. And so especially with like this one right here, it grows up, they grow like 10 feet long, and then you just point it down. And then they'll just grow down, and then what you do is you just have them go straight into the ground, and then you have all, you just doubled your blackberries. So you can see these here, like this one. Look how long that is coming off this thing. I I should have weaved it better up here through this while they were growing, and maybe I can still kind of put it there. But there it goes, and this one too. I should weave that just kind of through it, but this is the best method I've I've seen um, actually work. Is you use these big cattle fencing uh, uh, wire engaged stuff, and you just weave your blackberries up and down them, and they just. They love it. They do great. And then like these down here, this one, look at that. That's already starting to try to root in those old weeds. I'll just kind of point it down there and it'll be there for as long as it wants to and and then I'm done with it. But these are my blackberries. You can see how they kind of change colors. 
it's kind of pretty but yeah I'm excited these will all bear fruit next year they were all starts that I put in this spring and I'm really happy with it so that's just a quick little insight to my blackberries and how I like to grow blackberries and my experiment and this experiment's doing great my raspberries not so much I mean they're growing well and uh, I stole I stole this idea with the pipe uh, to water from LDS Prepper and the way he does his mid lighter gardens and this has been great like I can take this off for winter no problem I can store it I can screw it back in to the uh, water outlet that I have a ball valve on I'll show you but that is just so convenient I have it on my water timer right here it's part of my sprinkler system and I can adjust the pressure or the flow of water here and it just it waters it every morning for about eight minutes and I don't have to do anything like it just waters the berries that's it and it is so convenient and I do the same thing over here with the raspberries but I am trying to propagate more blackberries on this side so that I can fill this side up with blackberries I want two rows or 70 feet of blackberries and you can see I have some down here still that, that I have growing not a ton, but they're doing well. But that's it. That is how I grow blackberries. I haven't done anything special to the soil except put down compost. I don't put any mint lighter mix on these. I don't do anything with them. I just water them and, and they grow and grow and grow and grow. And I have some vines that, that are close to like 20 feet long. So... Anyways, this is Bring It to Farm. These are my blackberries, and I thought I'd share it with you. Thanks for watching.